Hi, my name is Rosemary Josie and I hail from the beautiful island of Nassau in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I have the distinct pleasure of serving on the Nurse and Now Global Campaign as the board member for the Americas, as well as the privilege of serving as the vice president for the Commonwealth Nurses and Midwives Federation. As I reflect on the state of the world nursing report, which focus on three very interesting areas of and that of nursing education, job, and leadership. This report is so very, very comprehensive as it provides so many nuggets in regards to strategic directions and guidelines for all of our nurse leaders to follow in planning for the future of nursing in our various countries. This report will assist nurse leaders within our region to function at a greater capacity as we participate in knowledge sharing and monitor the regulation of nurses in our country. One of our biggest challenge in our country is that of nurse migration. We have an aging workforce and this is very evident in this report that shows that 50% of our nurses are over the age of 55 in comparison with nurses less than 35 years. It is also interesting to note that one out of eight nurse practice in a country other than the one that they were born or trained in. Therefore, we have to lobby our government to invest in strengthening retention packages for our nurses. We have to lobby our government to invest in the education and specialized training of our nurses. We must lobby our government to invest in leadership development program for our nurse leaders and our young nurses in particular. We have to particularly encourage our government to address the shortage of nurse educators and develop global skills partnership to assist us in our various roles and functions in nursing and midwives. The time is now for us to make our pitch. The time is now for our voices to be heard. Isn't it so ironic that in 2019, Dr. Tedros announced that 2020 would be the year of the nurse. The year 2020 started off with a bang as we seek to celebrate our nurses on a global platform. But lo and behold, we were challenged we were thrust to the forefront because of the pandemic of the COVID-19 virus that affect the four corners of the world. It trusts nurses to the center stage globally. The world is at our feet as we work in partnership and collaboration with other healthcare professionals and providers. But I say to you, let us seize this opportunity to celebrate the bravery of many of our nurses working on the front line, putting their very lives and the health of their families at risk as they seek to provide compassionate care to many of the victims of the pandemic COVID-19 crisis. Nurses truly are on display as they promote patient-centered care that is so much needed, especially during this time when our patients afflicted with this disease are all alone. There is no family to comfort and to provide that caring touch. 
This is the time when nurses must continue to celebrate each other. Nurses are on one accord as we come together as one to pray for each other, to celebrate each other, and to show that we care. Let me take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for the marvelous work that you are doing all over the world. The outcome of this pandemic will be our contribution to universal health care. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you. As we continue to raise the profile and status of nurses globally. Thank you for your contribution.